If you are a breastfeeding mom that decides to pump because you have to go back to work or be away from your baby, you're going to end up spending $140 on disposable bags while you're pumping if you work full time. And you could be spending only $23.99 for a full year on pumping supplies if you decide to use these glass mason jars. Hey friend, Nicole here, and in this video, I am going to share with you a simple trick that is going to not only save you money, but just completely simplify your life. So buckle up, because that's where we're headed. First of all, if you have decided to breastfeed your baby and pump because you have to go back to work, congratulations. That is not an easy thing to do. I just made it to a year with my second, so I have now breastfed two babies for a full year, and it's really hard. Like pumping while you're away, uh, it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of energy. You're completely sacrificing your body for your baby. So congratulations, you are seriously an awesome mama that you have decided and are able to do that with your baby. But there are some expenses that come with pumping and some environmental costs of pumping that we just don't always think about. And there's actually a really simple trick to get around this and it's using mason jars and not only is this going to save you money in the pumping bags but it's also going to save you money in bottles and sippy cups and all the things and i'm going to show you exactly why that's true right now when it comes to pumping breast milk typically if you are going to be away from your baby when they're still pretty little they say you need to have at least 24 hours 24 not hours 24 ounces in the freezer to send with them while you're away and if you're going to be working three days let's say you're going back part-time you're gonna be working three days a week that's 72 ounces if you're going back full-time that's 120 ounces of milk that you would want to have in your freezer stored up now for sure you could go back to work with just one day in the freezer but let's say you go back to work it's really stressful you don't produce as much milk as you thought I know this definitely happened to me going back. It was just really stressful at the hospital. And so I didn't produce quite as much as my baby drank, especially because once they warm up the milk, they have to throw it away, which is like, oh, I hate that, but it's just how it is. I like to have a week in the freezer. That way, if I got a little bit behind, I wouldn't have to panic that there wasn't gonna be enough for the next day if I didn't pump enough. So let's just say you have 120 ounces in the freezer because you're going to be going back to work full time. For to store 120 ounces of milk, you would only need 15 of these eight ounce glass jars. On Amazon, you can actually buy a box of 15 eight ounce jars for $23.99. They will be shipped to your door. And if you have Amazon Prime, you won't even have to pay for shipping. So because these only store six ounces, you're gonna need four bags per day to get that 24 ounces per day. So over a week's time, if you're using four bags each day times five days, that's going to be 20 bags per week that you're going to need. Over the course of a year at full time, this is going to equal out to 1,040 bags. It is not safe to reuse these plastic bags. They do not want you to wash them or sanitize them or anything. There's just too much chance of bacteria growth, so they are a one-time use thing. So the cost of 1,040 bags is actually 11 boxes if you buy them in boxes of 100, which would make sense because that would save you money. At a cost of $12.74 per box, that is just for this Lansano brand, which is a good brand and pretty comparable in prices to other brands. For that brand, it's $12.74, so over the course of a year, that is going to be about $140 for those 11 boxes. So when you look at those two prices of $140 versus $23, because you can just use those glass jars, put them in the dishwasher, wash them, sanitize them, and reuse them again, this is a huge cost savings. The other great benefit of using these bags is that you don't have to throw them away. I did do some research and find out that these Lansano, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, the purple one that starts with an L, <laughs> these are actually um, a recycle number four um, plastic and so they are recyclable as long as you rinse them out, get all the food out of them and depending on what your local recycle service takes, but in most places they would be recyclable. But still, I always feel like even when I recycle something, there's still more cost and environmental cost when doing that. So anytime I can buy a product that I can use over and over again versus a one-time use product like the disposable bags, I am all about that because that's just one more thing I can do for our planet. 
Now, the other benefit is the glass versus plastic as far as freezing and heating them up. Now, there was at one time some research out there that was saying that if you freeze the water bottles, for instance, which are plastic, then the carcinogens in the plastic would leach into the fluid. And they've actually found that that probably isn't true because when you freeze plastic, the molecules actually move less. And so there's less chance that all that bad stuff in the plastic is going to get into your baby's milk. Still a chance, but probably not as likely. However, when you heat up plastic, there is definitely um, some molecule movement going on there. And so I think that is actually more where you should be worried about the things from the plastic getting into your baby's milk. I couldn't find any solid research that said, yes, for sure, you are putting carcinogens in your baby's milk unless you were heating it up to boiling, which I hope you are not, or putting that in the microwave, which again, I hope you are not. So that might not be a factor, but since there's still some questionable research out there, I just didn't want to even take the risk. I don't heat up my own food in plastic. I don't freeze my own food in plastic. And so I certainly wouldn't want to do this for my baby either. The other really cool thing about the glass jar versus the plastic is that this actually serves as a baby bottle, believe it or not. Where this, I have to heat it up and then transfer it into a bottle. And we all know that there is some milk that's lost every time we transfer it. I mean, even from your pumping parts into the storage container, there's milk that's lost. Um, and it seems like a lot of times it's the fat that's lost, which is the part that's the best part for our babies. So it really stinks when we have to transfer it and lose that milk and all that good quality stuff. So when you use a glass jar to store your baby's milk in, you don't have to transfer it. And let me show you exactly how that works. I'm gonna use this empty bottle just to show you, but the Mason bottle um, company that actually kind of started promoting using jars as baby bottles, they actually made a nipple that is perfect and fits right inside the Mason jar ring. Now they do sell a plastic ring. Ours has broken or become lost on our after feeding two babies now, but they do make a plastic ring. I found the lid for it. This is it that could just go on. It was really cute. Um, the benefit of the plastic was that it didn't rust. Some of ours, as you can see here, have actually started to get some rust inside of them. And because of that, you have to either scrub that out um, with like a Brillo pad type of a thing or just stop using the rusty ones. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, but really that's not in contact with your baby's milk because it's on the outside of the bottle. So what you're more concerned about is this metal lid here. This one is really clean. However, this one does have a little bit of rust on it. We don't want to use those rusty ones. I don't want that on my little guy's milk. So I stopped using those ones. Knowing that these can rust, that does add a little extra cost if you have to buy new lids for the jars uh, after using them for a while. However, the Mason Bottle Company actually did come out with a silicone lid that you can put over the jar. You can then freeze and store the milk with that silicone lid over it. And we didn't purchase these, so I can't give any recommendations on that, but I, I do think it's a pretty cool idea so you don't have to think about rust on the bottle tops. Back to the point of this nipple is that it then just twists right on and now you have a bottle. So simple. I did not buy any other bottles for my babies um, and then I didn't have to worry about their milk ever being in plastic, which I really loved. My mother-in-law was so concerned that this bottle was going to be too heavy for her baby, but I have pictures of both of my kids now actually holding the bottle when they're actually quite small. And um, yeah, you want to be careful. You don't want it to slam onto their poor little faces, but they could still handle these. So a really cool gadget that actually comes with the mason jars are these, uh, it's kind of like a koozie for your baby's bottle. <laughs> It's not, but it kind of is. And basically this helps grip, so when grandma is worried about your baby not being able to hold on to it, they do uh, make these for the jars. You can buy these right through the Mason Bottle website. It gives you ounces on it, although most jars have ounces, which is another really cool feature of these jars, is that because they're already made for canning and storing things, they have the ounces right on them. Truth be told, we didn't use these very often. They were super cute, and I love them, but it was just one more thing to put on there and then wash so we didn't use them all that much. The nipples, there's not a lot of variety in what kind of nipples you can get. You can get different flow 
um, volume. So there's one for like an infant with one hole, and then there's a two hole, three hole, four hole. And, but it is a little bit faster flow than let's say a different brand that's like really slow flow, I guess on the slow flow spectrum, <laughs> these are a higher flow. So if you have a baby that's really particular needs a slow flow, this might not be the best thing to start with, but maybe something you could move into. They do uh, definitely brag about and promote that this is a shape of a breast. It's a very wide nipple. And so a lot of babies take to this really well and both of my kids loved it. I had no problem getting them to drink out of this. Even when I introduced it between four and six weeks, they, they just didn't have any problem with it. It was really great. Now where things get really cool with this bottle is that after your baby grows out of bottles or is maybe even just transitioning to a sippy cup, you can buy these really cool silicone um, sippy cup lids, not through the Mason Bottle Company, uh, just through Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below of the ones that we got. We tried a couple different brands. These actually worked pretty well. They do um, crack a little bit from taking them on and off right at the edge, but I would say we used them for a good three to four months before that happened. So definitely, I thought worth, worth the money compared to buying a whole different sippy cup. And again, not having to think about my kids' water when it sits out in the sun when they're on the playground, uh, it's not in plastic ever. It's still in glass with a silicone lid. Now this is a sippy cup, so cool. So we then transition our kids from the bottle and the nipple to the sippy cup and then eventually just to drinking out of it. And I mean, me and my husband even use these for a lot of our drinking water, milk, things like that. So multi-purpose, and then when I'm really done with them, I guess I could make jam if I was good at that kind of stuff. Maybe my mother-in-law can help me with that because I am just no good at jam. But I think it would be really cool to make it. If you're finding this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up so that YouTube will share it with other moms who never knew that mason jars could be used as a bottle, a sippy cup, and a big boy cup once your kid gets to be that age. I asked my husband what his favorite part about using these mason jar bottles was because I thought maybe as a dad he might have a little bit different perspective and he said what I loved about them was it was so simple you didn't have to hunt around for different things. You know, every bottle has a different lid that goes with it and a different nipple and all this stuff and it was just simple. It was this and we had one type of nipple. There were different flows, but basically any of those could work. Just some pissed our baby off more than the others <laughs> when he wanted a faster flow. But these jars, were it was just one thing to have in our cupboard. The other really cool thing that my husband liked about them was that you can just throw them in the dishwasher. There was nothing complicated about hand washing them, using the brush um, to make sure you get out all the little crevices we do that with the nipples but not with the jar part it just makes life really simple another really cool thing is that if you have a wee little one and you want to use these four ounce jars that is another option you can kind of see how they compare in size there but these hold a little bit less so obviously once your baby gets a little bit bigger they're not gonna hold enough but when they're really little four ounces or less this works really well they make the little size koozies for your baby bottle for these as well. Another cool thing that you can do is use these labels here and these are so that you can write the date of when you pump the milk right on them, stick the sticker on and these actually do wash off in warm water so that makes life really simple. Again, truth be told, I like things really simple and so by our second baby, we were just writing the date on in permanent marker and then just crossing it off or kind of rubbing it with our finger to get it off um, when we reused it again. But there is a nice option if you are into fancy extras like this label. Another cool thing about the jar is if your baby or I should say toddler, not really baby, is into straws. This right here has a hole in it that you can put right over the jar and then stick the straw through and a little less spilling going on when you wear these. So there's lots of different ways that you can use this jar with your kids, whether they're into straws, sippy cups, or bottles. Just very multi-purpose. You can use it throughout the whole age range. Like I said, the one con to using these mason jars are that one, they do weaken over time. And so I did drop one outside. And because I had been using these with both of my kids for two years of pumping it did break when it was frozen i dropped it it then cracked and the milk spilled everywhere although i have seen these bags of milk be dropped on the cement and actually start leaking as well so they're not foolproof either but 
Um, the glass can break and it does weaken over time. The more you freeze it and thaw it, freeze it and thaw it, the integrity of the glass does go down a little bit. So that is something. But I have to say my kids dropping them on the floor at the table um, or just, you know, walking around and dropping them. Honestly, we've had maybe, I think, two. That one that was frozen break and one other one break. And other than that, the integrity is really good. They're really strong glass and so that's amazing. And then the other con is the rust that forms on this uh, metal ring if you don't buy the silicone ring or the plastic ring to, um, to tighten the lids on. And then the rust on this part of the lid, which again, if you bought that silicone cover, you wouldn't even have to worry about that. One other con of these glass jars, using them as bottles, is some daycare facilities won't actually let you bring your kids milk in a glass jar and that is kind of a bummer and if that is your daycare situation that does put a damper on this whole method i would highly encourage you though to check out the stainless steel bottles that i'm linking in the description below my sister used these because her daycare wouldn't accept the glass bottles and they were amazing and she didn't have to think about her breast milk being in plastic at any point during its journey to her baby's bellies I hope this makes your life a little bit more simple because I know supplies and pumping is just a lot and if there's any way we can make it easier, I'd love to share that with you. If you want another really cool mom hack, check out this video about why diaper bags actually aren't as necessary as we might have once thought. So head there next.